Good morning, folks. We've got space weather, earth weather, news from beneath our feet, above our heads, and way out to Orion. But we'll begin over at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding the last 24 hours on our star to be quite calm once again. No eruptive activity. The filaments remain stable. Just a big, dark coronal hole to be seen. Two of them, actually. Solar flaring remains flatlined as there are no sunspots on the Earth-facing disk. Solar wind remains above average intensity, but only up to moderate levels. It may be set to rise even further today, however, so this calm condition and minor instability may develop into a storm before we speak tomorrow. Of course, the more intense stream would be from the coronal hole turning away to the right. Next one turning in from the left is set to make a quake watch. Blot Echo already struck the Philippines overnight. But we are already seeing some pressure release. That's down in Mexico. This is the Colima volcano erupting yesterday morning. Luckily, just a good deal of smoke and ash from this one is the big story. Mostly just a pretty sight to behold. If this one didn't get the pressure out, however, I am looking further south towards Central America for more. Let's come now to the ESO. We're zooming in on Orion here, and apparently they now have the most detailed infrared look at the belt we've ever seen. Through comparison shots of visible light and infrared, the ESO has combined images and exposures of one of the most fine detail and highly descriptive images you could imagine. Amazing contrast in the nebulous clouds north of the bright core. Up next, we're looking at the Congo. Flash floods have taken out entire villages, leaving survivors to wonder how to pick up the pieces, not to mention where those pieces are, even as they dig through piles of rubble, trying to find their belongings and, unfortunately, some of their loved ones as well. Torrential rain and dam failures combined with poorly constructed communities led to this disaster. We're not done yet. Amazing piece from Yale University that reads very close to the movie plot from Day After Tomorrow. Now they are quick to mention that movie and that they are not going that far, but they do say the real underappreciated consequence of a warming world is a snap shift to cold. I know we have some different thoughts on climate change around these parts here, but this is a fairly good piece considering how hard it is to get the mainstream to even look at a cold future. This type of revelation about climate, especially a major climate oscillation like the AMO, is what our latest book is filled with. Hundreds of papers on solar forcing of these large oscillations and even small single events have come out in the last few years, and this book simplifies, summarizes, and puts it all into context at a layman's level. Folks, if you did not catch last night's video, it was the answer to the widely asked question of where the earthquake factors came from. The answer is complex, but it begins in 1967. Check it out. We'll have a new alert map posted in about two hours or so after we finish up the latest analysis. Find the maps under Latest Prediction on the app. Apple users click the globe at the top of the Quakes page. We've got pressure and radar forecast, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.